on the drums we've got is it Thick Sack? T S. T S. Elliot. Harrison, Fifteen dollar. Elliot. Thick Sack Elliot. Thick Sack. And Justin Bieber and Sal. Saliva. Sal <laughs> Saliva Gomez. Saliva Gomez. Thanks for coming in, guys. This is Thanks awesome. Thanks for having us. <laughs> All right, so um, a lot of familiar faces in this band. How'd you uh, how'd you get Organa started? Um, I was in a band a long time ago called Pleasant, and they disbanded. And I still was wanting to play songs and make shit up, and I did so. And I um, sort of like home recorded and stuff like that. And just over some time, I sent some home recordings to Nathan actually. And he was like, we need to record this properly. And so we did. Um, but live was a different story. And I sort of like drew in on my people that or my friends and my family that <laughs> I'm comfortable with. And it's like, are you OK with this? Like, can we play? Like, are you good? <laughs> like, so everybody was just into it. So so the uh, Lim DP, that was in was that oh. Was that 2010 or 2010? Yeah. yeah, February 2010. Now, was that all you, or did you have a band playing with you at no, that time? No, on the recording, it was just me. And actually, um, Wes Phillips played drums on a couple of songs. Um, he used to be in Ticonderoga. Um, but yeah, mostly it was it was me. And yeah, I think I was, Nathan, like... I, I was fortunate enough to record it. Nathan recorded it, actually, yeah. I did, hand, and so, I did hand claps. Yeah, Reed clapped. That's pretty important <laughs> for everybody to know. He totally clapped. He cheated. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> and one of the things, actually, because she had sent me all these demos, was we wanted to actually make sure that she was the one, you know, laying down almost every single track. So yeah, that was that was important for the first EP, I guess. Yeah. 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 So how did you interpret those songs that uh, you did pretty much on your own into a, into a live show? It was just kind of like these are the parts and you know, found the people and, and just sort of designated who was going to do what. So, mm -hmm. and it was a little weird because, I mean, mostly I've been in bands where it was very democratic and it felt a little strange to be like, 
no, it has to be just like this, and no, this is how it is on the recording. And But I've been fortunate enough to have people that have been very supportive of me and, and knew the home recordings, and were like, okay, cool. And they She's just... still very much an evil thing. <laughs> 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 <Yeah. laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so Fashion evil. Fashion is great. Right, she things, yells at us. <laughs> we mess things, up. One of the things when we started was... I think Maria wasn't sure exactly if she wanted to play bass or not. Yes, yes, that's true. So I just sang in the beginning. I didn't play anything, well, actually. Shows. Yeah, the first few shows I just sang. So, mm -hmm. and that was really that was really good for me because I had a lot of um, uh, stage anxiety. Even as like as long as I had played in bands and stuff, like I would kind of be turned around and everything. And so it was very um, liberating for me to play my own songs and like sing and. So you had never been a front woman for a band no, before? No, 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 no. Sad out. My mouth was, but I was. <laughs> Your mouth was. <laughs> <laughs> she sang with her back. Wow. But you're no longer anymore. Shit. You're facing the cameras and everything? No. Mm -mm. So you've gotten used to it now, I guess. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it is what it is. Like, we play and we have a good time, and it's like, it's not anything to be crazy about. Like, mm -hmm. you know, whatever. So as we mentioned, the uh, EP came out last year. Any plans for like a full length, another yeah. EP? Another EP, actually. Um, and we're working at it at Pac Studios, and Nathan's recording it again. And um, I've got um, Josh Carpenter, who plays drums in Floating Action. I don't know if you've heard them. They're a wonderful band from Asheville. He's playing drums on a song. And then we've got some people in Toronto that are laying down some guitar and vocal tracks on a couple of things. So, so it's more than just you, really, I guess. Yeah, the rest. Who, do I, who else do I have? Nathan. Annie's doing some vocals. Nathan's yeah, this doing. A, this one's, very this one's a little more open, and yeah. and it's like you know we've been playing for a while now, and it's kind of like okay, people are doing their parts that we do live, so mm -hmm. yeah, like yeah. Well, how are the songs different from this upcoming EP to the, uh, the last one? They're not really different. I mean, are they different? They're a lot awesome. A <laughs> lot of awesome. <laughs> <laughs> They're yeah. pretty much way cooler than I, the last I, I one. Feel like the, I feel like the drums are, are different. Maybe a little like rockier almost. Like more, yeah, yeah, maybe. And there's They're guitar. Little, yeah, well, that's true. And there's triangle. It's actually guitar on this one. It's a whole lot of triangle. But I mean, it's the same, like, <laughs> it's the bell. same formula pretty much. But like, you know, kind of like as we have been playing, like prior to that, like people have been coming in and doing their part, so. So speaking of that formula, where do your influences lie? I mean, when I hear when I hear Organos, it kind of takes me back to uh, Seattle grunge before Nirvana, even you know, like you know, <laughs> yeah. Mud Honey, Bikini Kill, you know, like that kind of like really dirty grunge. What music. do you think? I'm like 62 years old. <laughs> you know, and I, and I remember that. Okay, I remember that. <laughs> no, I do too. I do too. But like, well, I mean, that's like a compliment, actually. But um, my influences, are you asking? Like, yeah, like where where are you drawing the, the sound from? I can tell you what I love, and I don't know if I'm meaning to draw from it, but I love um, I love Sebado, I love Unrest. Um, I don't know, like I just I love Stevie Nicks. Like mm -hmm. it's just you know whatever. Mm -hmm. I'm I, I've not been like I'm not trained to play an instrument, so I'm very elementary in what I come up with, and vocals is just sort of it's always been a weird sketchy thing for me mm -hmm. um but you know i just i i've learned I, i'm more free with it like i just am whatever like this is it like these are the songs like i i don't know i don't know what they are <laughs> one of, i think one of my one of my takes just being almost like an outsider that gets to to look in a little bit closer is that um because maria is also a visual artist it's kind of her expression yeah um as a musician, so a lot of the same themes kind of run through her her visual yeah. as well, <coughs> and it's yeah, and it's and it's not it's not necessarily it's not necessarily like meant to be like a structured song or Nothing's something like that. Nothing's planned. It's just yeah. whatever. Yeah, that's where like the whole like Seattle thing came from is a bunch of DIY stuff. Anyway, yeah, you know, that's kind of where you know the the way that that Maria will present her songs a lot of times come off you know like a, a kind of when we're playing live for sure, sure. but i'm not being a giant <laughs> jackass she takes her shoes off and lets it all hang out I let my toes hang yeah, we, out i hope you clipped your toenails because we I should didn't. get some really didn't. really close up these longies your, are for you feet. jay <laughs> yes she does have shoes on all right so um one of what is 
a really exciting moment I had last year, actually leaving work. Mm -hmm. um, I have Sirius Satellite Radio, and yeah. I heard one of your songs on there. I, I was like, holy crap, it's Maria. I know. How did that song <laughs> get there? I mean, did somebody just pick it up? I did a mailing, and it took. <laughs> <laughs> and it was really kind of awesome. And Grayson, again, was, like, super supportive, and he also caught it in was like, you know, she just did this mailing on her own. She did her own PR, and it's on Sirius XMU. And he took a little picture on his radio in the car. I did the same thing. I'm like driving, really trying sweet. to take a picture. <laughs> so sweet. So sweet. I mean, but that, Probably like. Probably better than texting. Yeah, but that, <laughs> no, I mean, I, you know, and that to me is, like, it speaks volumes is that, you know, someone who has that show, like, heard it and was like, I, I want to play this. Like, that was really cool. So Awesome. Yeah. Um, all right, so coming up this weekend, uh, you you guys and you even helped you organize this Moving Island yes. benefit. Yes. Yeah. Um, what is this? What is this organization? What can you tell us about that? Moving Island is going to be a nonprofit community um, organization for not specifically for Raleigh, but because it is in Raleigh, we are going to draw more from Raleigh but very open to the surrounding areas of just the space of like being a home to um, artistic outlets that don't necessarily have a family. Um, like a good example that Adam, one of our, our board members gives is like, you're not going to take a guitar lesson at Moving Island, but you'll take circuit bending or you'll learn how to make a pedal or, you know, so it's, we're trying to delve a little bit more into unique things that we know people are interested in but that don't have a home. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like that. I didn't know they were doing that. It sounds like something I yeah. would want to sign up for. Yeah, it's going to be great. It's going to be great. I thought you were talking I thought you were talking about the benefit. It's like, oh yeah. <laughs> like, Wait, we're playing tomorrow? <laughs> we are playing tomorrow, oh, but okay. Moving Island is going to do fantastic things. Right. So. so how did you put this benefit together? You got some awesome names on there. I Schooner, know. You I know. Yeah, Scooter's pretty Scooter's awesome. Gonna be out, <laughs> they're, yeah. they're pretty good. They're good. Yeah, you I like them. Uh, yeah. Mac from Super Chunk, Phil Cook. Well, uh, Chris Riddle um, booked a lot of the bands and had been like contacting bands a couple of weeks in advance, like saying, we have this thing coming up. Can you play? And it was really wonderful like how many people came forward and were like, yeah, absolutely. We'll play for free. Like, this sounds amazing. So we had this great bands. And then sort of, you know, last minute, um, we had, you know, some cancellations, because you know how it is. Like, a lot of people that are in bands are in multiple bands. And we contacted Mac, sort of last minute. It was like, our, you know, special mystery guest canceled. Like, what do you think? And he was like, let me rearrange shit. I'm going to take my daughter to the NHL stuff. And, and, uh, and he got back to us the next day, and he was going to do it. And Phil Cook, the same thing, was like, yes, thanks for thinking of me. I'd love to. Um, and I just... That makes me, that's like what makes me really proud to like play music here in this area is that we are all extremely supportive of each other. It's for the greater good of everyone, power and numbers sort of thing. So, but yeah, it, it, we've been really fortunate. A lot of great bands have, have offered their services. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. One, two, a one, two, three, four. You'll always be my side girl, side girl, my girl. I'll never leave your side girl, my girl, oh. And if you flee this place, shut your eyes and see my face. Cause you know I'll never leave your side girl, my girl, oh. I'm gonna have your back, babe, back, babe. Back, babe, I'm gonna have your back, babe, back, babe, oh. And when the lights go out and there's room for doubt, don't you know I'm gonna have your back, babe, back, babe, oh. Whoa, oh, oh, whoa, whoa. Whoa, oh, oh, whoa. Inside my heart, love, heart, love, my love. You'll live inside my heart, love, my love. Oh, looking up at you from my knees. Oh, worried about the honeybees, don't you know? You'll live inside my heart, love, 
my love oh one two three four One, two, three, four. Christmas, oh, oh, oceans pass. Lightning strikes your sails at last. Excites skin and bones by your side. Shutters 
My bird. A uh, one, two, three, four.
Two, three, wait. This song is dedicated to my little sister, Pee Pee. Her Got real it. name is not Pee Pee. Pee Pee. One, two, three, four. Ho, ho, ho.
Shaw.